Hello, everybody. I don't know why I did that. That was weird. But um, <laughs> so, guys, today's video is going to be all about me showing you my horror figures. So um, I don't have the biggest horror figure collection, um, you know, in the world. But um, I have about four Funko Pops that I'm looking at here and six NECA figures. So a decent enough stack that I can make a video on it. At least I think so, hopefully. So a little bit of background, uh, if you want to know, I'm not the biggest horror movie guy. Like I'm trying to get into horror. I really do enjoy it. Um, I really like it, but I got into it a little bit later in life. Um, like pretty much every horror figure that I have here, I didn't own until like the last year, year and a half. Um, some, some of these I bought like this month. I want to say like I've probably bought half of this stuff this month alone. So um, yeah, each year I become a little bit more and more of a horror fan. Every October I get into it more and more. So um, I have a lot of catching up to do with movies and collectibles and things like that. So uh, let me know, you know, in the comments, drop any suggestions for movies, collectibles, figures. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the reason why you're watching. And that's to show you what I have here. So starting things off. <clears throat> I recently got this guy off of Amazon and that's the Chucky from Child's Play 2 there he is looking all menacing with his bloody knife and I love that image that artwork right there um, which I believe is on the the movie is that the original poster I'm not sure let me know but here he is and uh, I don't know if you can see but he's also He's also carrying a knife right there. So super cool. I love Chucky. Uh, next up, we got Sam from Trick or Treat. I love this character. Just his look, his mask, the way he like walks around is a uh, really great character. And there he is uh, carrying his sack. And yeah, I found this one at Target and I saw several at Walmart. So if you want this this uh, pop right here, check your Walmart or Target or even Amazon, I'm sure, carries it right now. All right, two more Funkos that I, I'm going to show you. Um, I actually got these two yesterday from the time of recording this video. I bought these two yesterday off an um, app called OfferUp. So someone in my area was selling these and I was like, yeah, man, I'll take them off your hands. You don't want them? Well, I do. That's Leatherface, the Hot Topic exclusive. And I recently saw this uh, movie for the first time the other day. I enjoyed it. I really liked it, especially the third act. Um, Leatherface was just, uh, at first, you know, I was like, whoa, this guy, you know, he's just protecting his house. These guys are breaking in. But yeah, it definitely goes off the rails at the end and it's a good, it's a good horror classic. And probably my favorite of these Funkos here, it's this Michael Myers FYE exclusive with the blood splatter all over him. And he's also carrying a, like a bloody knife there. And I'm just a super big fan of this iconic image, the pumpkin right there with the knife. Super, super cool. So yeah, and these came in pretty good condition, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I'm still trying to get my hands on a Jack Torrance Funko, and I really want a Ghostface one, but it's like super expensive right now. I'm not trying to spend you know, too much on a Funko Pop. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you some of the NECA figures that I own. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of more of like an in-box collector, so sorry if you can't really you know, see all the detail or up close because of the glare and the box, but 
I just I just prefer them in the box. I don't know what it is. Um, I do have one out of box, so I'll show you that one first. And that's um, just get this out of the way here. Uh, it's Michael Myers, which comes in this box. I actually do have a couple things left in the box. Like I I didn't take out some of the masks. Here's the back of the box right there. And it also comes with this Judith Myers gravestone, which is, to me it feels kind of like a cheap plastic, kind of flimsy, but well, still pretty cool nonetheless. And this pumpkin that actually lights up. So that's cool. And here is Michael Myers. This knife. And uh, he stands up pretty well. So I like that about this figure. I usually um, keep him up here on the shelf. So uh, he stands up. Not bad. All right, this next one is it's more of like a sci-fi horror, but still horror. And that's this this alien NECA figure. I hope you can see that. I'm sorry. But I definitely, definitely need to rewatch this movie. It's been so long since I've seen it. Um, I tried rewatching it maybe like two years ago, but I was watching it with some friends and they couldn't get into it. Um, I had to turn it off. I think one of them was like even falling asleep. Uh, yeah, I know. I need to get different friends, but no. Uh, I get it. It's a slow. It can be slow at first, but definitely worth the you know the payoff. Where it's worth the wait, um, obviously. So, next up, we got this Friday the Thirteenth Jason figure, the final chapter. Also comes with the gravestone, the Pamela Voorhees. And um, ooh, it comes with that, this head right here um, with the, you know, getting sliced. And uh, I'll just read you the back real quick. It says, after his revival in a hospital morgue, the hockey mask murderer fixes his vengeful attention on the Jarvis family and a group of carefree teenagers, young Tommy Jarvis, is an aficionado of horror films with a special talent for masks and makeup effects. Has a diabolical Jason finally met his match? Tune in next week to find out. But it doesn't say that last part, obviously. Here's the inside. And as you can see, he comes with a different hockey mask right there. And a couple of knives. And like I said, the gravestone right there in the bottom. So really like this figure. It's super cool. Okay. And here's the next one. Sam again from Trick or Treat. I'm not reading this one. That print is way too small. You can maybe pause that if you want to read it, but yeah. Okay, so let's check out the inside. I also need to re oh am I just noticing all this artwork up front? I've only I've always just kind of seen Sam, but if you look at you know all these other characters off to the side, it's really nice artwork. Um 
definitely need to rewatch this movie this month. Trick or Treat, just a perfect movie to get you in the Halloween spirit. Um, and I just love this character, just his costume design, his masks, the pumpkin heads. Big fan of Sandler. Oops. Okay. Uh, two left. Um, I'll save my favorite for last. But we got Pennywise from the 2017 It movie. I just recently rewatched part one and two. Uh, and man, those movies really hold up. I'm a big fan of both of them. Uh, I can't pick a favorite. They're just both equally great in my opinion. I know part two gets some hate it gets a lot of criticisms and you know rightfully so it's not a perfect movie but i just really enjoy it super scary frightening uh, likable characters and there's pennywise really love the look the costume design the the just the makeup everything very spooky terrifying and as you can see, it comes with the red balloon there and two other heads that you can switch off. Also, it comes with George's boat. And in case you want to read that. Okay, Ooh, getting out of breath here. Last but not least, like I said, my favorite, save the best for last, and that's gonna be Ghostface. Probably my favorite costume or um, like horror character from all of these. It's between him and Michael Myers. But from the mask to the, to the robe, Everything, just really big fan of his look. And one of these masks is even uh, glow in the dark, actually, which I think it's the green one. And it comes with a bunch of different weapons, as you can see. Hopefully, you can see that there. And uh, that's going to do it for the NECA figures. I just have two keychains here. I got these recently at Spirit Halloween. Uh, they come in like this mystery bag where you know you don't know what you're gonna get. Uh, I really wanted uh, Pennywise. <clears throat> Unfortunately, you know I didn't get him. I, I I got these two guys, which they're still pretty cool. I'm not mad. First one is Dracula. Um, not a huge fan of the 1931 Dracula. I thought it was fine. I'm trying to make my way through the Universal Monster movies. Uh, so far, I've seen Dracula and Frankenstein. I'm a much bigger fan of Frankenstein. And I'm looking forward to watching the rest. And the other one I got is Beetlejuice. <laughs> this one looks kind of funny now that I'm looking at it again. But yeah, um, and that's gonna do it, guys. Like I said, you know, not the biggest collection, but I, I'm happy with what I have. I think they're super cool, you know, collectibles and figures. Um, hoping to add more soon. But uh, let me know what you have. Uh, let me know what movies you've been watching in the month of October. Um, yeah, any recommendations for figures, movies? Let me know in the comments. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and um, hope you. Enjoy the rest of your October and see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.